Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Auslander and I'm the new elementary technology teacher here at Allisonville and Clearwater Elementary School. I'm so excited to be here. Before I taught technology, I was at Allisonville for 12 years. I taught fifth grade and third grade and I taught fifth grade for six years out in Maryland. And um, my passion is integrating technology in my classroom. Um, I became a Skype master teacher. I became a Kahoot ambassador and a Microsoft innovative educator expert and a PBS digital innovator all-star. I just really love integrating technology in my lessons and have, having technology make learning come alive. And I gotta be honest, having a Chromebook for, for your child is pretty fantastic. Chromebook is a pretty powerful tool. Uh, I wanna explain though what a Chromebook is because it's not just a typical computer. It is limited but it is powerful as well. So what is a Chromebook? So the key word in Chromebook is, is Chrome. Chrome is, is a browser. It's Google's web browser. So a Chromebook is browser-based. It's basically, I guess you could call it an internet machine. You can use Google Chrome. But Google Chrome allows you to access the amazing and robust and um, just, just the hugely powerful Google Apps for education. That includes Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Drawings. There are so many Google apps that you can use in your learning that's gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Um, this Chromebook doesn't have a lot of space to download different programs, but, but it is cloud-based, which means all of your videos and documents and slides and all the things that you create on your Chromebook, you can save to your Google Drive. We'll teach you how to do all of that. And you'll have access to it so you can save all of your creations on your Chromebook. Pretty great. Another thing that I love about this Chromebook, and you obviously know this because of all the Zoom calls you've been doing, but your Chromebook has a camera. It's right there. So of course you want to look into your camera when you're doing Zooms, but also think about how you'll be able to submit things to your teacher that are photos, that are videos. Um, really, this Chromebook opens up a lot of possibilities for really exciting work. So I'm excited for you. This Chromebook is going to really allow you to use 21st century skills. You're going to be able to create, cre create really neat projects, documents. Um, you'll be able to collaborate with classmates, with your teacher. And potentially, you might even be able to connect with other classes um, at some point. So I'm really excited for your adventure. So now that we know what a Chromebook is, let's learn out, let's learn a little bit about how we're going to keep ourselves respect. Res, no, sorry, keep it uh, safe, because if you break your Chromebook, virtual learning is not going to be very fun. Um, safe, responsible, and uh, respectful—the three expectations that we have. So we'll talk about that in a moment. It's great that you have your own Chromebook. It's amazing. You have to be responsible with it. This Chromebook that you have is your responsibility. We're going to talk about ways that you can be responsible with your Chromebook so that you can have it the whole time and really get a lot out of virtual learning. All right, so we got to be responsible, right? Let's talk about a few things that you can do to make sure that you're responsible with your Chromebook and that you'll have it for the whole year. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, okay, so one thing you want to do is when you're doing your work, you want to work on a flat, a flat desk. That will really keep it safe. Um, for example, you wouldn't want to leave your Chromebook on the floor. Somebody could step on it. And that would not be so good for your Chromebook. So keep it on a flat desk. Also, you don't want to pile things on top of your Chromebook. Sometimes I see students... Uh, and they, they have things piled on top. You don't want to pile things on top of your Chromebook. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. This screen can break pretty easily. So if you have a lot of heavy items on top of your Chromebook, you could crack your screen. That wouldn't be so great. Again, remember, your Chromebook is your responsibility. So you don't want to pile things on top. Also, one of the biggest things that I've seen in my years with these Chromebooks where they break is a big accident. Sometimes students, for whatever reason, might have a pencil or a pen in the computer 
and when they close it, psh, this could break the screen. If they accidentally close the Chromebook on a pencil or on a pen, that will break the screen. So really be careful to be responsible with your Chromebook. You want to make sure you don't have any pencils or pens or really any items inside your Chromebook because if you close it on accident, it could break the screen. So that's another way to be really responsible. Hey, do you know why you never want to have, you want to keep water and food away from your Chromebook? Do you know that water and electronics don't mix? Believe it or not, water, if water got on your Chromebook, it could fry, it could destroy your computer. So keep food, keep your lunch, keep your snacks, specifically the, the liquids, but also crumbs. Crumbs are really not good for computers either. Crumbs can get in there and cause trouble too. So make sure you keep your food and your drinks away from your Chromebook. That is another way to be really responsible. I feel like I'm giving a lot of rules, but this is really important. Also, when you're carrying your Chromebook, close it and hold it with two hands. You don't want to walk around like this. You don't want to hold it with one hand. You do want to have it closed and hold it with two hands. Yes, I know when you close it, it logs you out. That's okay. Log back in. It won't take that long. And it's going to keep the Chromebook safe because it's your responsibility. Okay? Keep it charged when you're not using it that way. When, um, when you want to use it, it'll be ready for you. And this is really important. This is really important. Sometimes things happen. Accidents happen. If your Chromebook does break, if it cracks, if something's not working the way you think it's supposed to work, because uh, for whatever reason, it's your responsibility, guys, to call the student help desk phone number. I'm going to put that number up on the screen because I don't have it in front of me. Um, that's your responsibility as well, guys. When it breaks, don't try to fix it on your own um, necessarily. Just call the, call the number. They will tell you what to do. And that's how you're going to be responsible with your Chromebook. So we talked about being responsible. We also need you, Allisonville and Clearwater students, to be respectful. Be respectful. And really, in my opinion, that comes down to just be kind. Just be kind. You're going to be on Zoom with, with classmates in small groups, in whole group. Your words matter. Your words have consequences. Be kind. That will really respect your teacher and your classmates. So be respectful on Zoom when you're you know, talking to your, your peers and your teacher. Be respectful on Canvas when you're doing discussions. You want to use kind words and be, be respectful of your classmates' opinions. Um, when you're on Flipgrid, let's say, and you're commenting, you want to be respectful of your peers. Your words matter. They have, they have consequence. They, they mean something. So be kind. Use kind words. And that will really help you be respectful on your Chromebook. And also, just as important, maybe the most important, we have to keep you safe with your Chromebook. So there's a few really important things that will keep you safe with your Chromebook. So, so one thing that's really important is you want to make sure you're still using school appropriate approved websites. We only want to make sure you're being safe and using the, the appropriate and approved websites. Okay, um, That's really important. Really important is not to give out your password. Your parents can have your, your login uh, password, but you don't want to tell your friends for sure, not even your best friend. Your password has to stay private. That will keep you safe because if someone else has your, has your password, they can go in and be you and, 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 and it looks like you did it and you'd be responsible. So make sure you are keeping your passwords private. Log out when you're done. When you're done, we talked about closing it charging it, putting it away, because if, it's, if, if you're not logged out, somebody else could, log, could be you and um, get you in trouble. So make sure when you're done, you log out, you close it, you charge it, put it on a, on a flat, safe place um, so that no one else can, can, can be you on the computer and get you into trouble. One thing that I forgot to mention, and this is more for responsibility, but, um, you know, your child, you, you were... You were um, you were assigned a Chromebook, um, they look identical. They look pretty much identical. What I would suggest is get a piece of masking tape, something that would be easy for us at the end of the year to remove. Get a piece of masking tape, 
put it on each child's uh, Chromebook, and then write your name, write the child's name on the masking tape. That way, it's, that way um, they don't get mixed up because if something breaks and they get somehow mixed up between families, um, between friends, um, that, could be, that could be a problem. So that's the suggestion that I'm gonna have for you guys, okay? So we've talked about what a Chromebook is. It's a browser-based, Chrome-based, um, amazing creation collaboration tool. And I'm gonna help you as the elementary technology teacher, to, I'm gonna help you um, to learn different uh, little tutorials that will help you with some of these really cool uses of the Chromebook. We learn how to be responsible with it, how to keep it from breaking. We learn how to be respectful of others on Zoom, on Flipgrid, on Canvas, just by using kind words and being kind. And we learn how to be safe by keeping our passwords private, and only using the appropriate websites that we're, we're assigned that we need to be on, okay? Um, so hopefully you're paying really close attention because there is gonna be a game that we're gonna play, a Kahoot game, a Kahoot game. And the winner from, um, from both Allisonville and Clearwater are gonna get Kahoot stickers sent to them in the mail. I have some Kahoot stickers since I'm a Kahoot ambassador. When you um, create your name on the Kahoot after this video, make sure your name has your first name. Make sure, to, make sure it has your teacher's name. It has your grade. And then at the end, either CW or AV. So let's say my name is Steve. That's, that's actually my name. I would, when I was creating my name, I would be Steve. Let's say Ms. Hudson's my teacher. Fifth grade, AV. Something like that, just so that I'll know on the Kahoot, we're gonna, we're gonna pl play a Kahoot. And Kahoot, you may not even know, I should have explained this better, I'm sorry. Kahoot is a really fun trivia game. Most of the students probably know what Kahoot is. It's a trivia game. Um, I'll have directions below, and it's just a trivia game, and um, you're going to answer some questions based to see how well you were paying attention during my video. Parents, certainly you can help if you want. That's fine. Um, help your child, and this you'll um, create your username. Uh, you'll create your name for the, for the Kahoot game, your child's first name, your teacher's last name, grade, and um, the school. Just so that when I'm looking at, because there's about over a thousand kids who could potentially play this Kahoot, I want to know who to mail, um, who to mail the stickers to. Okay, um, just having a little bit of fun with you guys. So uh, best of luck on the Kahoot. Let's have some fun, and thank you for paying attention to my lesson.